Okay, I got my phone. Got my paintbrush, my paint, and my canvas. Come on. So this is a, uh, a street art project I started in 19, uh, uh, eight, yeah, 1988, 89. I started doing street art. 30 years later, I'm still doing it. Got ABC on stage, so I have to have a, man, a manhole cover all scoped out. I rode my bicycle down here yesterday. Whoa, heads up. From here to the tip of Manhattan and back. It's like the greatest bicycle ride in the history of the world. Ever. Yeah, we have an aircraft carrier in our neighborhood. I think I see the parks enforcement vehicle there. I could get in trouble. Okay, you know it takes me a while to like something. You don't really like things right away. Shop Studios. Hi Douglas, it's Jacques here. How are you? What's going on? It's in today's paper in the New York Times. That's exciting. That's Douglas from Roosting Mannequins, who is the most important, and it sounds silly, but the, the, the art of building and creating mannequins is a huge huge industry and it takes an unbelievable amount of skill and creativity and an eye and the most the biggest and most important maker of mannequins is a place called Roosting and last week we or two weeks ago we lit their showroom and then New York Times came and did a story on their mannequins and their showroom and everything it's in the paper today <sighs> so here's the story there are more photographs here that's who we just got off the phone with, this guy here. He says, oh, anyway, so we do this, uh, help them light this showroom and... Okay, let me go give, let me go get the other telephone. I'll be right back. It's gotta be right here. Where's that phone? I gotta go find that other phone. I can call myself again. So this phone has a lyric. Maybe it's on the patio. Because it won't ring if it's on the patio. What it does is it locks me to my desk if I can't find this phone because, as you have just learned, it's kind of hard to see uh, if, if they're in the, this time. Uh, it's a really nice terrace out here. We do a lot of shooting, a lot of interviews out here. We have a barbecue. We've got a nice skylight view. You know. Nope, not out here. I'll show you some other stuff. Very unusual to have a terrace in uh, Midtown Manhattan. We're just a couple blocks off Times Square. This is just a front room. I, in particular, I really like the view out here. This shooting this way, this whole thing from here to there, it's just, it's really got some great character. And you can sort of see the whole thing. My phone's ringing downstairs. Studios. No, we're not a storage facility. We're an art company, art production and television studio. Sorry. It's okay. Bye-bye. That's why it's not, it's not down here. So, so Eric's going to come over and he'll explain to you uh, this show here. We're doing a pimple show and a hair show. How to get rid of pimples. How to get rid of unwanted hair. If you have hairy pimples, come over. Okay, so Nair approached me to, uh, they got some new products to launch and they want to uh, show them off to the editors of the magazines, Vogue, uh, Women's Day, all the magazines will come look at this new Nair product. So we got a, um, a suite in 40 West 40th, big empty suite. So I came in and we need a little reception area first to, to uh, sit down and relax and have a cup of coffee. And then we come around the corner and we go to the closet area. The idea was from Beverly Hills Housewives Closet. The next area is called makeup. It's gonna be a huge makeup mirror with, uh, with director chairs with the logos on the back. And they'll have a professional makeup artist to talk about the editors, talk to the editors and maybe do a little makeup on them and so the editors have a little fun. And then also we're gonna be addressing the bath area. Um, we're going to have like, uh, make it look like a little bit of a spa. River rocks, rolled up towels, stuff like that. And then back out of here is going to be the, 
where it shows all the brand, all the products or these risers, which is going to be all white except one side is going to be painted pink with a big logo behind it. And we'll also paint that logo by hand. Um, and that's pretty much the show. I think the phone is in my coat pocket because I had a different coat on earlier, didn't I? I checked your green coat. Not my my big green coat. Yeah. But the one the beige one with the hood because that's the one I had on because that's let me hang it on a wall see what it looks like. I think of something.